So you want to make captions just like this for your videos in Premiere Pro, but doing it manually is a little bit of a pain in the ass. I know because I made probably the best course on how to create homozy style captions in Premiere Pro about two years ago, except things have changed. There is now a tool that you can use to, in one click, add these captions with all the animations in Premiere Pro, and I want to show you how to do that in this video. Now this video is sponsored by Brevity, but they haven't paid me to say anything specifically. They just said, hey, we'll give you some money, make a video, show people our app, and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you the pros and cons, and I'll give you a little tutorial on how to basically use it quickly, because it took a little bit of figuring out. But anyway, enough of that, let's get into the app. So I'm making a quick reel for my beautiful friend Rachel here, and you can see that right now all I've got is just some audio, it's just her speaking, and uh, a music track. This may be what you think you need from a trainer, but this is not what's going to give you long lasting results. So all you gotta do is go to the website, register for free, download the app and install it using the ZXP launcher installer, which is this thing. You download a file, you drag it in there, reset Premiere Pro and then it will appear. So then to actually access it, you go up to window extensions and you'll have brevity up here. So we're gonna do that. And now you can see we've got here auto cut or captions. Auto cut cuts the spaces in your video, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the captions. So first of all, you've got to set a source in and out point. So I'm going to go source in by hitting I in Premiere Pro here. Then I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to put an O like this, holding shift. And then we're just going to press captions. So now you can see it does use credits. We'll talk about the pricing afterwards. In my opinion, it's absolutely worth it for how much time it'll save. But for now, while we're doing this, I'm just going to get straight into creating the captions. So we're going to click caption style and you can see we've got all these different styles. But these are the basically a rough template for the style and animation. You can change the font, the color and everything. So you really just get in a template here. I actually like this one because it's pink. It's a little bit girly i'm gonna just click this one poppy wiggle spins and also it says accurate transcriptions so you can have it accurate or fast and it detects different languages now i'm just going to click accurate you want it the most accurate and apparently this is more accurate than the default premiere pro transcription so we click accurate click create and just wait a couple of seconds and watch the magic happen. All right, so the captions are done and these have not been edited at all. So I'm just gonna give you a quick preview of what this looks like. And these are all adjusted by, you can see it's created the captions layer. I'm just gonna move it down so we can see it. It's created this captions layer, but you don't edit here. You actually just click on style in the brevity box and all the changes you make will be made to all the captions so really neat feature so right now let's just look at what is made straight out of the box this may be what you think you need from a trainer but this is not what's going to give you long lasting results okay so looks pretty good so far however i want to change the font a little bit that homozy style i know he uses montserrat so i'm going to go to font i'm going to search montserrat like this and i know it's going to be uh black we're going to go black don't I don't know what that beeping is, but one thing I've learned with video editing, if it beeps and pops up, you just click OK enough times, it disappears, and you just pretend it never happened. This may be what you think you need from a trainer, but this is not what's going to give you long-lasting results absolutely not so now you can see we've got the monster at black maybe i can make the shadow a little bit bigger so where have we got we've got drop shadow i oh, know it's a stroke so we can change the size of the stroke so i can just click drag the stroke up maybe we go to like 13 to make it bold and make it pop more this may be what you think you need from a train to me i'm just gonna go 10 that's a little bit too much and now if we want to change uh the animation how big the highlighted word pop up what we can do is if we just have a look let's look through these settings let's not rush ahead so what i'm going to do is uh, we can scale up the entire all the text itself by clicking scale here so we could go like 150 it's going to make it bigger now we've got the active text. So this is something I had to work out, but just a little tip for you. Active text is the highlighted word, right? So if I go to like 150, it just means that word trainer is basically unreadable. So we don't want to do that. So with this active text box, you can change the animation and the color of the word that is 
up ahead. So for example, if we wanted this to be like the yellow, like the homoji style yellow, you just go there. And now the active word that pops up ahead is going to be yellow. This may be what you think you need from a trainer, but this is not what's going to give you long lasting results. Okay, cool. Highlight text. So now the highlight text is, um, I'm actually just going to go back and we're going to get our pink back because I kind of like this sassy pink. Yeah, baby. So we've got the, uh, we've got the pink there. The highlight text is if you've got a word that you want to accent manually, not just the word that is coming ahead, you can actually use another tool to highlight it. So that is styling the font. Now there's a couple of buttons here that we're going to want to check out. So the media tool, you can suggest, suggest clips and emojis. I haven't actually used this feature yet, but you can check that out for yourself. So sometimes you want the words together on certain lines. For example, I don't like half finished sentences. So we've got it had a live onboarding session for an example. I want had a live on one line and then onboarding session on another line. So you're going to come across this paragraph tool. So what you do, you click just before the word and it's going to break it up. So we're going to click session here and session is going to go up. Then we're going to click had a live and it's going to split had a live. So now we've got had a live and onboarding session separately. So if you have a look, if we click it, it separates it from the one above. So now we can get onboarding session together and had live together. So if the words aren't, it's just me. So I don't want had a and then live onboarding. You know, I want to see the words together. It makes sense. So anyway had a live onboarding session or say we wanted live onboarding session together so we're going to just click live we're going to click had a to split them and then we're going to click session and it's going to bring them together live onboarding session like this live onboarding session quick and effective workouts okay so if we play it again this may be what you think you need from a trainer but this is not what's going to give you long lasting results now, if we want to edit the actual text, we can go here and we can just click the text tool. We're going to click May and put um, more. So now if we save this, you can see this may be what you think makes absolutely zero sense. Perfect. So let's just change that back. This may be. And there we go. So that's how you change that. And this is something I did a review recently on a, another product called Submagic, which is great. But editing this text, you had to go and like change the time it started and get it all to match up. But with this, it just calibrates for you. It does the timing automatically for you. And then, you know, if you totally screw it up, you can just retime if things fall out of time it hasn't actually happened for me but you can just click this retime tool so yeah that's pretty much it you can change the animations you've got the pop the speed the intensity and things like that you can go to presets and we can just change this to another preset this may be what you think you need from a trainer but this is not what's going to get I don't think that's as nice as our spinny wiggly pops. So there you go, guys. This is Brevity, and I think it's an absolutely great solution. So let's just have a quick look at the pricing. Like I said, you can get seven days free using the link in the description. So pricing, you've got monthly and you've got yearly. So on the monthly plan, $17.99 a month, 100 minutes of credits. If you think about this, uh, I know, I don't know what it is in the video editing space, but you have a business. Your video editing career is a business. Every business, you want to be putting money into things that make you money. If you can make $50 an hour, why wouldn't you spend $17.99 to save yourself God knows how many hours of work? So to me, I think this is totally fair. I actually use this and I made Rachel's video. I've actually made this video already, but I used it for an example. I made this video and I did the captions in like 30 seconds and it would have saved me an hour. So one thing you could do if you said to a client, we're making you a long video, why don't we make you a reel and we'll make you a Facebook video, call it an extra $500, you get a reel and a Facebook video as well. And then that reel, you can go get the captioner and you can do these captions in like two minutes, but you've upsold the reel. So the client's happy because they get a reel with amazing captions. You make more money from upselling those extra services. 
And yeah, $17.99 a month for 100 minutes. So if you're using these for like Instagram Reels or Shorts, you pretty much got 100 Shorts because they're usually about 60 seconds. And if you're making longer form videos like YouTube videos, then you might want the producer. This is $35.99 a month, but you get 400 minutes of credits monthly, which is like eight hours of videos. So for $36, you can go and automate captions on like five, seven, 10 videos. So I actually think this is reasonable. And if you buy a yearly plan, you can get this a lot cheaper as well. So I don't actually think the pricing is a big deal, but that is down to you to decide. Uh, I'm always looking at things as a video editor. If I buy this tool, does it save me time? Will I make more money in that time? Which is usually yes. So that's it, guys. If you want to go and add bouncy, poppy, wiggly, spin, purple captions to your videos, then you can hit the link below and try Brevity for seven days for free. Let me know in the comments if you like it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in like six months, a year, two years. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.